SpaceX collaborates with the U.S. Air Force. Everything you need to know. The U.S. Air Force announced that it is expanding a development program that aims to use reusable rockets, such as those used by SpaceX, to quickly transport cargo around the world. The idea of space cargo has been around since the start of spaceflight, but it never seemed viable until lately as commercial capabilities have advanced. Now that rockets have grown in size, they can carry up to 100 tons, which is the weight of a fully loaded C-17. Because the cost of launching a satellite has decreased, it's becoming more feasible. With this, a contract worth more than $102 million has been awarded to SpaceX to use a rocket to transport military supplies and humanitarian items around the world. So here's everything we need to know about the collaboration of SpaceX and the U.S. Air Force with their largest contract. This is Big Brain Tech. Do the wise thing and use that gray matter. Like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and share this video, since knowledge is power and wealth. Rocket Cargo The United States Air Force wants to be able to deliver cargo from space as soon as possible, and it's spending a lot of money on it. The Rocket Cargo Program, which joins the Skyboard Wingman Drone, the Golden Horde Weapons Swarming Initiative, and the Navigation Technology Satellite 3, has top priorities to move from science and technology development to real-world programs, was announced by the Department of the Air Force last June 4th. In its budget for 2022, the Department of the Air Force proposed $47.9 million for the development of rocket cargo. The Air Force Research Laboratory is leading research to see if it's possible to use space launches to transfer goods and even personnel around the world in a matter of hours. If that's the case, the Space Force may make it a permanent program. The program executive officer for the project will be the Space and Missile System Center of the Space Force. The rocket cargo program will be handled out of the AFRL's Transformational Capabilities Office, according to Air Force Material Command Head General Arnold W. Bunch Jr., who spoke with reporters at a separate event. A $102 million contract A contract worth more than $102 million has been awarded to SpaceX to use rocket to transport military supplies and humanitarian items around the world. The U.S. Air Force awarded SpaceX the contract last January 14th, according to a Space News report about the deal, which was initially reported by AviationWeek.com. It's a five-year contract that's part of the Air Force Research Laboratory's new rocket cargo program. According to Space News, the new initiative is looking into the usage of huge rockets for worldwide logistics for the Department of Defense, or DOD. This will also be the largest rocket freight contract ever issued, and it's referred to as point-to-point -point transport, since it transports a payload from one location on Earth to another. According to Greg Spangers, the AFRL Rocket Cargo Program Manager, this relationship derives from the DOD's extremely interested in the capacity to deliver the cargo anywhere on Earth to help humanitarian aid and disaster relief. When fixed point-to-point -point transportation to established places becomes accessible, commercial vendors anticipate a commercial service that will undoubtedly be interested in taking use of. While SpaceX has secured its initial contract, Spangers emphasized that the Air Force hopes to engage with other companies as part of this initiative. Rocket Goods Vanguard, a project launched by the Air Force last year, looked at commercial rockets' ability to deliver up to 100 tons of cargo anywhere on the planet. SpaceX's launched rockets will not be employed for this transfer, according to the New Deal. The AFRL, on the other hand, will be able to see and analyze data from all of SpaceX's orbital launches and booster landings allowing it to choose and evaluate the best vehicles for the task. The Falcon 9 rocket has been reusable for years, and SpaceX also has a Falcon Heavy rocket with reusable boosters for larger flights. The business is also working on a large rocket called Starship, which will launch up to 100 metric tons into Earth orbit using a reusable Super Heavy booster. According to SpaceX CEO Elon Musk, that rocket could sail around the Earth in a single pass. 
The AFRL will also be allowed to use SpaceX to show its large cargo transport and landing capabilities under the new contract, though so no date has been set for such a demonstration, according to Space News. AFRL will be leveraging multiple commercial demonstration launches over the next five years to acquire the data. Spangers told Space News, adding that the Air Force doesn't control the schedule, but rather will collect data whenever SpaceX executes relevant missions. SpaceX will also design cargo bays for the Air Force as part of the deal, specifically cargo bays that can be quickly loaded and unloaded and that can accommodate U.S. aircraft. The AFRL is exploring a wider range of novel trajectories to mitigate overflight issues, exploring a broad range of landing options for austere sites, researching human factors when landing near populations, and integrating a broader range of cargo, including medical supplies, to deal with this problem, according to Spangers. Air Force Rescue Crews Ready in Case of SpaceX Boeing Launch Malfunctions in preparation for possible emergency bailouts of SpaceX and Boeing space missions, U.S. Air Force rescue personnel have finished training. According to a news release issued by the Air Force, the training took place in the Atlantic Ocean and the Banana River near Patrick Space Force Base in Florida. The 38th Rescue Squadron from Moody Air Force Base in Georgia provided pararescue, airmen, and maritime operations to the teams. From Florida, Boeing intends to launch its unmanned Starliner spaceship. Because of problems with valves in the propulsion system of the capsule, Boeing had to postpone the launch earlier. The 38th RSQ stated it will be ready to respond if necessary. If SpaceX, the private space travel corporation owned by business magnate Elon Musk, launches the Crew-3 mission. For what is expected to be a six-month mission, Crew-3 will send four astronauts to the International Space Station, three from NASA and one from the European Space Agency. If a failure occurs, the company's Crew Dragon capsules are designed to detach and eject away from the rocket to prevent an explosion or other dangers. After the capsule has landed in the ocean, pararescue jumpers will go on board and recover everybody who's on board. Members of the 38th Rescue Squadron Blue Team performed freefall jumps and equipment drops into the lake as part of the training. Rescue teams must be able to securely land their equipment in the ocean, including inflatable boats laden with medical supplies, paddles, and other supplies. Routine training like these, according to the Air Force, keeps troops ready for other rescue operations in other locations. In the event that they do have an emergency, Tech says, it reassures them that they will be well served by a team that is well versed in these types of rescues. In a new statement, Sergeant Michael Galindo, 38th Para Rescue Man and Blue Team Section Chief, said, Because there's so much involved in this type of jump, it's critical for us to keep up with it on a regular basis, according to Galindo. What are your thoughts about these advancements? Comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you next time in the next video. After you've clicked on that like and subscribe button, head to the archives to check out other vital videos from Big Brain Tech.